the question which grants are we expecting at the moment good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel thanks a lot for the visit for this update so let's just proceed the hbgn grants or the uaag grants i've already seen some grant promoters starting this grant hbgn grants and we have already known that this grant has been peddled by the uaag since march till date then we are still seeing the AGPG and working collaboratively with the UAAG. Why should people be creating confusion in tagging it AGPG and grant? Yes, you know, even Ken. Now, I don't know whether Mr. Angelivia is trying to create confusion. He, he, he says he doesn't want confusion, but he's trying to instigate some things. Now, some people they said that the money they are going to give is a palliative is a palliative that is not much and that the main money is uah grant that this one is agpn grant which is small that ag uh, uah grant is coming so him saying yeah we have to call things by their name people paid people promoted the cause of this grant through uah then now AGP, uh, AGP, GN, whatever, have brought this grant. We don't know. It's UAG we know at the beginning. Then later we discover that UAG does not have grant. Now this grant was brought by AGPN. So why can't we say this is the? Why can't we say the truth? Why can't we say the truth? Okay, so we should just keep quiet and and allow these things to them even say that it's palliative that AGP, uaag grant is coming that this one they are about to dispose is palliative for you ask yourself which organization did you subscribe and submit your data to is it the agpgn or the uaag then that is whose grant you should expect to receive this this angelivia man is getting things wrong he's getting things wrong even ken came out uh, anyway let's listen if you subscribe to agpgn grant then you know you are going to receive grant disbursement from the agpgn but if you subscribe to the uaag grant then know that you are expecting disbursement from the uaag that is in one perspective then in the other way around we are not actually interested on who disperses this grant which umbrella organization are they using to this is relevant is relevant you know why this who disperses this money is relevant because the amount determines now they are saying that they are giving hundred thousand naira because of its palliative because it's not it's not the main grant that has been expected that a uaag grant is still on the way but because of to quench the delay and to make things smooth they will disburse this one first awaiting that one so you can't they can't tell somebody that have put millions into this project that it doesn't matter who disburse when he's receiving peanut and they are consoling the person that this one is not the main grant that the main one is coming so you see the confusion now he has already started creating war he has started creating war because the grant all what is of interest which i suppose is the same interest shared amongst all grant subscribers is their last despite what is possible what you need is the alert to use and expand your life and businesses to help people not who disperses so build your focus away on who disperses no we have to build on who disperses and the alert because so that to avoid people being cheated okay somebody have paid millions for this course at the end he receives hundred thousand naira how do you justify that Grant if it is HPGN or the UAAG. Focus your attention on the alert that you need most importantly. Besides this, the frequent 
as tagging of these disbursements HPGNs may again restore an already existing history which we pray should not happen again in the grant ecosystem. Remember when the Diobat grant paved the way for the UAAG grant. It opens another avenue for mobilization of fresh data. With all these agitations and resentment or tagging of names of this grant to the next, what if it calls for the mobilization of fresh data? May history not repeat itself. May we not be going in the direction of rejecting data of the... Being afraid of reality makes history to repeat itself. What is he afraid of? The truth be told, this money was gotten by AGPGN. UAAG money, with there was no money from UAAG. The grants they are seeking under the umbrella of UAAG has not come. Uh, till this moment, is not there. The people that got the money is AGPGN. That is the truth. So why hiding the truth and expect to be there to be peace? while seeking for fresh data for the AGPGN. This explains the reasons why we should not even be promoting any name outside the UAAG grant at the moment because it will definitely open up an atmosphere of extortion by grant promoters. So many young people will start leveraging on this new activity to extort and scam the masses. The masses will again start spending money all over again in the name of registration for a fresh grant. Therefore, all what we are expecting is the UAAG disbursement. And the HPG and president have reaffirmed his support to the UAAG country director, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama. He's working together with him to ensure disbursement take place. That is what matters to the masses at the moment. Both the AGPGN and the UAAG are working collaboratively to ensure there is disbursement to you and everyone else. Okay guys, see you at the next update.